when she had him at gunpoint. Never leave survivors because they'll always come after you. And Joel knows that. There you go. Ellie needs to learn that. Hopefully in the next game, Ellie has learned that. Don't leave any survivors. They'll just come after you. Just give them a chance to come after you. Well, What's that really Jackson like City next right? Okay. Oh, Tommy's. Okay, so they're going back to Tommy. Oh, we get to play as Ellie. I mean, not play as there properly, because obviously there's no shooting or hiding and shit, but yeah. even still, we'll play as Ellie for the end. Thank you. Why, thank you. So you reckon you can, I can finish the DLC in one hour? I'll tell you what, I can finish the DLC in one hour if there's, if I'm not collecting shit. If I'm not looking around to explore everything and I'm just rushing through the main story, I probably could finish it in an hour. Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked her. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. Oh, nice. This isn't Tommy's, is it? Tommy's is living in the dam. I mean, there's the water. I guess maybe I'll go to the dam. I guess we'll go to the dam. With Tommy, Maria and whatnot. But That's a nice scene of the... Uh, that's a nice scene of the houses. Oh, shit. What happened? Neil Druckmann, oh, hold on. I'll watch the scene, and then I'll read the comments. Just... Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Oh, you don't understand. I struggled. For a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. So, Druckmann has said The Last of Us was about love, whereas part two is about hate and the cost of revenge. I'll just turn this lower a little bit. That sound pretty cool. So, I'm gathering The Last of Us part two will be playing as a, as a grown up um, alley. Or maybe not a grown up, but an alley. So. Um, 19 year old Ellie, okay. So it's gonna be her story of hate and the cost of revenge, okay. So someone's either gonna do her wrong in the new game. Yeah. Because everyone that's done her wrong in this game has died, so there's no getting revenge on any of these people. Because they're all dead. Unless it's a, unless she's trying to kill Joel. So, he actually survived. I'm surprised with that. I thought he was going to be killed. So, at least he'll be alive for the next game, hopefully. Um, uh -uh. 
After you beat this game, you need to watch the trailer for part two. After the DLC, of course. Well, yeah, guys, before or after, I'll, I'm, uh, I reckon I should play the DLC first, because that, that's the order of where things came out. The DLC comes first, then they did the trailer for part two, obviously, so... I will watch the trailer uh, NPC, NS NPC, um, at some stage. I'll, I'll play the DLC first, though, just, just in case. Um, yeah, that, that one word hits hard, yeah, well, um, well, because that okay is her probably going, look, I don't fully believe you, you've probably lied to my face, but at the same time, I cannot prove that you've lied to my face, because she's asking, you know, are there others like her, and Joel says, yes, he doesn't know for certain that there isn't, she doesn't know for certain that there isn't. She probably suspects Joel is lying, but without actual proof that he's lying, she's probably just going to go, well, okay, but I'll take that. You probably lied to me. I'll never forget that. And maybe that's the revenge part in part two. She finds out he was lying and goes, fuck this. I'm going to kill Joel. Who knows? Maybe the second game is her searching for others like her for the proof that she needs to, or the validation to go that, you know what, as long as she does find others like her, she'll be okay, that could be her new purpose, and maybe, um, yeah, so maybe, and then when she finally gets to that point where she discovers the truth, where there is no one else like her, and she maybe is the only one, then she'll find out that Joel did lie to her the whole time, and then that could be, uh, oh, a violent event takes place in the start of the game that sets her on a course of revenge, ah, okay, fair enough, so stock standard action stuff, okay, cool, fair enough. I was trying to dig deep like a Game of Thrones episode, but fair enough. Just wait for the new game to come out. Everything will be there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Over the Horizon Raider. Um, I never played the DLC, but it was still amazing. But you've never played it, but have you seen someone else play it, Chris? Or like, do you know the story of what happens in the DLC? Because you said it was still amazing, so I get the feeling you, you do know the story of it at least. Um, how did you put it? A happy ending? Uh, I think it is a bit happy, really. They both got out alive. They both get to live happily ever after, kind of. I mean, they're going to Tommy's. As long as they get to Tommy's in one piece and they don't get killed on the way to Tommy's, then, yeah, happily ever after until the next great big thing happens, I guess. Until zombies attack, until the dam gets destroyed, until who knows what happens. Oh, do you mean the trailer was amazing? Yeah, okay, gotcha. Because you said, I never played... Because I read that sentence as, I never played the DLC, but it was still amazing. As if you were saying, the DLC was amazing, even though you haven't played it. So I was like, how do you know it's amazing? But the trailer's amazing. Gotcha. Fair enough. Is this the E3 trailer we're talking about? The one that they... Sh the first E3 trailer they showed, where you have the... Um, oh, I think it was like some cult-like thing, and you had a girl who was like hanging up, and then she broke off and killed everybody around it, I think. I can't really remember. I've watched it with a fir on the E3 when I was there, because you can't not watch the E3 shows. Um, but but I had no context around the trailer, because I hadn't played the last time, so I didn't really know what I was seeing. Um, or what context that trailer was happening in, because I didn't play this game to know what the state of the world was in this world. So Okay, so there's a second trailer. So there's that one and the second. The DLC adds to the game. I, I agree, Armadillo. In, 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 I mean, I don't know if it adds to this game. It probably does. But I am a sucker where if I play a game and I like it, I will get the Game of the Year version, get all the DLC, and I'll play through all the DLC because I want more of the world. You know, if, as long as I love the game and I go, you know what, I do, I, I am invested in the world, I want more of it, I'll play that DLC. And then hopefully I can get additions to the game through that. Um... Yeah, so... No, no, this was an awesome game. I like the, um... I know you guys probably heard me bitching a hell of a lot through the stream, but no, I did enjoy this game. I have, I have not hated this game at all. So, um... Did enjoy this game, and... No, in terms of, like, you know, lore and whatever else, is it more is it, is it more rewarding? Got the trophy, no matter what, hard. Boom. Ping. Okay, so they're all coming through hard, normal. Easy. Oh, is there an easy trophy? Nice. So everyone got to, gets a trophy. Doesn't matter what difficulty you put it on. That's cool. 
Yeah, I hate when they have like, you know, I, I do like when games have a trophy for just finishing the game, so you can just finish on any mode, rather than, oh, well, you only get one if you finish on hard. It's like, come on. Do not run through the DLC. Okay, well, well then I'm not going to run through the DLC in 45. Thank you for answering that question, Amadillo.